Hey, welcome to Jones for Journey this week. And I'm going to burn things up. No, hopefully not. Uh, this week we're doing something different. We are going to talk about my smoker. I like to smoke meat. Uh, my favorite kind of meat to smoke is chicken. Uh, chicken thighs to be uh, are the best, I think. But this week we're going to get something a little different. We're going to do some ribs, some pork ribs, baby ribs. And... Uh, I have a friend of mine that has given me a smoke tube, so this is going to be my first time using the smoke tube, which is why I have the butane torch. You smell, fill up the smoke tube. And we have our family And we have our grandkids us. with us, and they're actually doing homeschool work. So, you fill up the smoke tube, and this extends if you want to. It burns anywhere from 8 to 4 hours, depending on how extended you have it and how full you have it. You take your butane torch. And without burning yourself very carefully, you light the pellets. And you can see they're getting lit. They are lit. See, they were lit. Yeah, they're Like I said, it's my first time doing this, so you'll have to bear with me a little bit. There we go. Looks like they're on fire. They're on fire. You let them burn a little bit so they get um, a good uh, ash burn. So the, the wood pellets themselves will start to burn. And once you let it burn for a few minutes, you blow that out. And then we're going to put it in here. And turn the butane torch off since we don't need it anymore. So the pellets I have in there, he gave me also some uh, Jack Daniels pellets. You can get all kinds of different flavored pellets. Um, apple or hickory or maple or whatever. I want to try these, see how it would make the ribs taste. I have also added some spices to the ribs. Um, as some spices, spice mixes that we got down in Houston. So one is a, a garlic and one is called blackened. So I've used the, both of them and I have already started it smoking on the grill. Now with ribs, you'll want to smoke them for eight to ten hours or maybe a little bit longer that way they are fall off the bone uh, and the mix that I have in my smoker is a, a uh, championship blend it's a blend of all the different kinds apple and cherry and uh, all that to give it a really good flavor so this has been burning for a little bit I'm gonna blow it out you see the See it glowing in there and burning a little bit and see it smoking real good. Yeah. And what that does is not only will it add the smoke of the regular smoker, the pellets that are in the regular smoker, but it will also add an added flavor of smoke to those ribs. So the smoker I like to use is the Pit Boss. It is one of the smaller ones. Uh, and uh, it fits right in my storage compartment back here along with my uh, Blackstone griddle. Uh, I like to use my Blackstone for uh, some of the hamburgers because I don't like to do hamburgers too much on this because the grease tends to drip down and catch on fire. Uh, breakfast items, pancakes, bacon, eggs, that kind of stuff is on there. Uh, fresh vegetables, when I can skillet them up, I like to use my Blackstone. But when I'm doing meat, I like to use my smoker, and it is Pit Boss. And with the Pit Boss, not only do you have smoker settings, but you have settings here that you can control your heat, um, and so you can actually grill on it. Uh, and so we've had the ribs on for a while, and they are just about done. We flipped them over. We have burnt through our extra seasoning. So I will take and take that off. Set it up here for right now. And as you can see, they are just about done. Not quite done, but just about. Look at the bark on that. Doesn't that look delish? All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take this off the smoker. How long have they been smoking? Uh, they've been smoking about six hours, maybe seven hours. Okay. Uh, we're going to take them off the smoker, and we're going to let them rest. Letting it rest lets the meat relax. And once it's been resting for about 15 minutes, I'm going to put a 
barbecue glaze on it and uh, then I'll put them in tin foil back on the smoker and uh, cook that barbecue glaze into it and they will be very very delicious I wish you could have smell-o-vision and smell what this smells like it smells really good but uh, so we're gonna do that all right so while the ribs are resting I'm going to put some chicken on now this chicken I've done a little differently sometimes most of the time when I smoke it I just put seasoning on it but this chicken I like speedies if you've never had speedies before go to Walmart get some Salamita speedy sauce they sell three different kinds they sell a seafood brand they sell a which is lemon pepper they sell a chicken barbecue which is good for chicken and they sell just a regular speedy sauce speedy sauce is a lot like uh, shish kebab well speedy sauce is a lot like Italian dressing on steroids okay um, but uh, yeah speedies are chunks of chicken or chunks of beef or chunks of pork uh, cut into like one by two inch squares or cubes and marinated anywhere from two or three hours to overnight or even two or three days the longer you marinate the more the meat soaks up the marinade and tenderizes and tenderizes it so I have been this chicken has been marinating uh, for about uh, 16 hours it's been marinating since yesterday in my fridge these are not the boneless thighs like I normally do these are actually chicken legs skin on bone in so it's going to have a little bit more grease so I have to keep an eye on flare-ups but I'm going to smoke those and start to smoke those while the ribs are resting and then when the ribs are ready to be put on there I'll put them right on at the same time as the chicken is because it won't contaminate one or the other because the ribs will be inside of the tin foil with the barbecue sauce on so uh, the chicken will have to smoke for probably about three hours maybe a little bit longer we'll see and then I'll turn it up because it's bone in uh, and grill it uh, and I'm also going to put a um, it's not going to be a barbecue sauce it's going to be a wing sauce on top of it uh, but anyways because sometimes when you have bone in the chicken doesn't cook all the way through on just the smoker temperature you got to get that center uh, to reach certain the certain temperature that needs to be to cook it all the way so we're going to do that we're going to up the grill up the temperature and actually grill uh, on my smoker and uh, at that time we will take and put the the, uh, the barbecue sauce or the wing sauce on those and we'll pull the, the um, ribs off because when you marinate the ribs put the barbecue sauce on the ribs and put them in the tin foil and on the smoker you don't have to cook them for three or four hours I only have to cook them for about an hour that way so we're killing a couple of birds with one stone because the grandkids are here uh, instead of just being the two of us there's a few more so we're a little extra meat. plus that way I can show you a couple of different smoke smoke things all on the same video so we'll be back in just a little while to show you how that progresses all right well the nice thing about camping especially with an awning is even when it's raining we can grill and smoke <laughs> so as you can see the chicken is just about done i'm going to put my coating of uh, wing sauce on top of it and where's our ribs look at them aren't they look delicious mm, tastes good too can't wait to get in there. All right. So, I'm going to top off the chicken legs with a little bit of wing sauce on both sides. And then let it sit for a little bit longer on the grill. So that the flavor caramel caramelizes. It's not going too crazy now. Just enough to get, add a little bit of extra flavor. And I'll put 
flip them over and do the same on the other side in about five minutes. So that this side will get the get into it, and the other side will get its fair share. So if you have a special recipe that you like to use for smoking or grilling, either way, do us a favor, leave us a comment down below. If you like the video, let us know by giving us a thumbs up and hitting that like button. And uh, otherwise, we will see you next time. And remember when you wander and when you smoke on your grill, wander with a purpose. And that purpose being sharing the love of God. You know what? There's no better way to share the love of God than around a good meal, sharing it with friends and family. All right, we'll catch you next time. Thanks again.